Hi my loves, welcome back to another vlog. So I'm gonna take you guys through my weekend again because my last vlog was super long and you guys really enjoyed it. I mean, you always seem to enjoy my vlogs but like my last one was like 25 minutes long and you guys really loved it so I got really good feedback on that so I will definitely keep vlogging for you guys. This one's gonna be another long one because I'm gonna walk you guys through my weekend with me. Today is the 18th and um, it's actually Hector's birthday today but we couldn't be together because uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays are really busy for him. He's up at school and then I have class tomorrow So we're just gonna celebrate over the weekend. So I'm really excited because it's been a rough week um, It's been kind of crazy with school and everything and just like have a lot going on. So I really really need the weekend I'm so excited um, So today I meant to vlog earlier, but it was just so I felt like it was just such a quick like hectic day So like I went to class I went to the gym. I came home. I showered and I ate lunch and then I went out and I got Hector's um, like birthday presents and balloons and stuff. I'm gonna do like a cute little setup for him for when he comes home um, tomorrow. And after that, then I went and got my nails done. That took up a lot of time. I was at the nail salon for like two hours because there were so many people. Thursdays are like the worst days to get nails done. So I got a fill because it was much needed. So I'll show you guys, this is what I got. Okay, this is better. So I got matte red. It looks kind of like an ugly color in this lighting, but um, I really love them. They're like a coffin shape. That's what I always ask for, coffin shape, really skinny and pointy. That's how I tell my nail lady, and she always does such a good job. So this color is called OPI So Hot That It Burns with OPI matte coat over top I believe and it's like a gel because I always like to get gel because it lasts so much longer it's amazing definitely worth the extra money um and yeah I get them pretty long now and it's so funny because like a year ago I used to get my nails really really short but now I like them this length I just think it looks very feminine and girly and then I got the same color on my toes yeah and I have all my stuff set up in the back because I'm gonna be um, you know trying out some new makeup in this vlog like I did last time and then I'm also gonna be filming a beauty video I'm gonna do my current drugstore favorites which hopefully by the time you guys watch this vlog that video should already be up because I have not done a favorites video in a couple months and I've mentioned before I'm not gonna be doing any monthly favorites anymore because I think that they're so repetitive and boring um, I'd rather just do like current favorites every couple of months so that's what I'm gonna do I also want to do um, eventually like a current high-end favorites as well or like high-end products worth the splurge so I'm gonna be doing that that's like on my list I always make lists of videos to do especially when they're really highly requested from you guys so if you have requested a video it's on my list don't worry so what I'm gonna do probably is just like wash my face and lay in bed and watch Netflix because I'm just so tired I've just kind of been going through a lot lately so I'm just the weekends are definitely like my getaway which I love so I also want to show you guys, I got some things from Walmart, so random, and I also went to the mall to get Hector's present, but I got like a few little shirts because I love wearing like cute tops in my videos because I feel like wearing the same thing gets really repetitive. So anyways, I'm going to show you guys what I got. Okay, so of course, number one, I got Vagisil. This is like key to life. And then I got a brush because I have no idea what happened to my brush. I think I left it at Hector's dorm like a month ago, so I don't know. I just needed a brush. So this is just the Conair. It's supposedly for wet and dry hair, so I'm excited because I never brush my hair when it's wet, and I've always wanted a wet brush, so hopefully this works. Then I also got this um, Hard Candy Velvet Mousse Matte Lip Color. Uh, one of you guys actually snapchatted me this and you told me that I should try it. So here I am. I love the packaging. Like it's so classy. This was $6 at Walmart. So it's like a really pretty nude brown beige. And the only other thing that I got are these t-shirts. I know these are men's t-shirts. But I like big t-shirts for when I work out. And all of my t-shirts I feel like have shrunk within the past couple of months. So I just had to get these and I got a medium which they do fit me big. But I figured since they do shrink they'll get a little bit smaller. But I love them. They're just standard t-shirts. And I love t-shirts like this um, for when I go to the gym. Because I, I love like being able to move and be really comfortable. Especially because I'm always so sweaty. And I got this pack specifically for this burgundy color because I absolutely love the color burgundy so okay then from Boscov's oh don't mind the stain on my carpet that's what happens when you film makeup videos in here but um Boscov's is like a department store do you guys have that store 
let me know because I love it. It's just a really affordable department store. I'm gonna put you guys down so I can show you the shirts. But yeah, let me know if you guys have Boss Hobbs because it's kind of like a Macy's, JCPenney type of store. Nordstrom, not Nordstrom, Nordstrom's expensive, but it's kind of like a JCPenney type of thing. So all these shirts, they're marked as like really expensive, but they were each $10, which this one is just a simple like shirt. You see, it's really cute though. I love shirts like this. Can I just say I'm beyond ready for like spring and summer. Like I'm so over this cold weather. Then I got this shirt, which I love. It's like a flower shirt. <laughs> But the little sleeves are so cute because it's kind of like it shows your shoulder, which I love. This one was also $10. So it's like really big and flowy. I've been getting my shirts really big lately because I swear everything shrinks and my boobs are getting bigger, which I'm kind of happy about. But at the same time, okay, this is kind of weird. But I feel like since my boobs have gotten a little bit bigger, I feel like my arms have gotten bigger too, which just is not cute. Like my arms are definitely probably my biggest insecurity out of my um, body for sure i don't like my arms i've never liked them i just feel like especially now they're just like bigger so that's definitely something that i'm trying to work on because they just make me feel self-conscious sometimes so that's why i try to get like shirts that cover my arms a lot of times but since summer's coming up it makes me kind of just like mm, i just don't like it but i do like to show my shoulders and stuff like that too so that's what kind of sucks about having like big arms anyway i'm just rambling so i got this other shirt and this is really cute as well this is what it looks like and it comes with a necklace so i thought that was really cute you can see it's just like has a bunch of different prints on it which i love good morning so i just woke up like literally as you can tell i brushed my teeth and everything now so don't don't worry i always get concerned people who wake up early in the morning i'm like did you brush your teeth but I did all that stuff. It's 7 o'clock right now. My class is at 9. But I don't know if I said it last night. But I have been going to the gym um, early in the morning before my 9 a.m. on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. Because it just makes me feel so good. So I'm about to have some breakfast. I don't know what I'm going to have. Probably just like cereal. Um, just something not too heavy. This is my absolute favorite cereal, the Special K. Oh, this is so good. It has little pieces of chocolate in it. Definitely recommend it. And then I'm also having one of these, the strawberry banana like smoothie juice things from Bolt House Farms. These are basically like those um, naked drinks, but I like these better. Like you can get the big tubs. This is only like $4, so it's just better and cheaper than the naked drinks. And I love them. I love strawberry banana anything. Like, yes. So that's what I'm gonna have for breakfast um, really quick. And then I'm gonna head out to the gym and then go to class. I'm all done in class. It's 11.10 right now and I went to the gym earlier. I'm feeling really like energized. Like I slept really good last night so it's a good day. So I'm about to go to Hector's house and go set up his presents and the balloons and everything and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay so I just put these rose petals. Um, I got them from the Dollar Tree. Remember when I showed them in my last vlog like to decorate my beauty room? I just used the extra ones that I had. And then I have his presents right here with a little note and then some balloons and then this banner up here and it actually took me a really long time to put this up and there's like sparkles everywhere. The words have like glitter in them. It's so annoying but um, yeah I just put that up. They have little like hooks at the end. Do you see what I'm talking about? But there's nowhere... For me to be able to hook them in here so i had to just tape it up there i was like climbing on this desk i was so scared that it was gonna like um collapse or something because he has all of his stuff on here but yeah that's what i did so i cannot wait for him to see it when he gets home today i think he's all pooped out from helping me right simba <laughs> So I just did my eye makeup. I don't really like the way it turned out. I love the shadows that I used. I used the Meat Matte Nude Palette and the Kat Von D Monarch Palette. These are so pigmented. Both of these are amazing, but I just don't like my makeup today. I don't know. I feel like me and cool tones just don't really look right. I think I look better with like a warm smoky eye. I don't know. I just don't like the way it looks, but I'm just going to go with it. It'll come together once I do the rest of my makeup. So I also wanted to tell you guys, the beauty blender that I bought the last time that I showed in my vlog that was 81 cents is 
horrible. Okay, this is the one that I bought for 81 cents. It looks pretty normal, but I got it got it wet and it does not get big. This is the regular beauty blender, the original. You see how squishy and like so much bigger it is than this one? Ugh. The beauty blender is amazing. Totally worth the money because like 81 cents plus like $2 shipping. So $3 for this, okay? But I have to throw it out because it's not good. So it's like you think $3 here, $3 there, $4 there. Like if you keep buying these dupes from like Marshalls, TJ Maxx, you could just buy the Beauty Blender, which is so much better. And it actually like works and it's amazing. So I recommend the Beauty Blender. That one is just not good. Another thing I don't like that I tried is this Milani face primer, the new one that came out. This does absolutely nothing for me. Like, it does not minimize my pores. It does not make my skin matte, like nothing. So, anyways, I'm gonna try out some new face products right now for you guys. I'm using the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer to start. I got the mini one because I wasn't sure if I was gonna like this, so <laughs> we shall see. Um, this is like really watery. You know what's funny? This feels like the Milani one a little bit. Okay, it makes my skin feel really soft. The base feels like a uh, silicone type of thing, but it's not silicone. Okay. I'm going to also use the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I've been just dying to use this. This is like a illuminating kind of primer. Look how gorgeous the packaging is. But I still want to use it just because... You guys know I love me some glowy skin. Okay, I used about a pump and a half. So let's see. I think I used way too much. I do not really think I need this much. I know I'm like, I'm trying a new foundation today. I really shouldn't use primers, but... Oh, that smells good. Oh my god, that Becca primer smells so good. I used way too much. It kind of smells like lemons. That smells really good. And it's really soft. Feels like a moisturizer. Maybe that's why so many people with dry skin love it. Duh, Jasmine. I really, really, really like that Becca primer. I'm gonna use a new foundation today. I'm using the Milani Conceal and Perfect, the two-in-one foundation and concealer. I don't think this color is gonna match me. It's number 05. This, I didn't realize. It comes with a pump. I was like opening it, like twisting it, and I was like, um, but then all, all of you guys on Snapchat were like, no, it comes with a pump. I was like, okay, thank God for you guys, because I would have been using it like without the pump. This is gonna be too dark. Do you see that? Oh my goodness. And I thought this was a good shade for me. Mm. Well, first impression of it, you really just need a little bit. This is way too dark. Yeah. First impression, it looks good. I swear, like, I love the Beauty Blender so much. Like, any foundation, you can make it work with this thing. It's awesome. This is definitely a medium to buildable coverage, but it looks really, really nice. Okay, for concealer, I'm going to use the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. I don't know even how much of this to use. It's not coming out. Oh, this is going to be thick. I can already see it because look how it's coming out. It's like thick. Oh, this concealer is very thick. Um, I think the color might be good though, but. Oh my goodness, this is going to be interesting. Let's see if it's creaseless. It actually blends better than expected for it to be of how thick it is, but um, I'll tell you this. I used way too much primer and foundation, so I think that like my face right now feels a little bit heavy. Like I really did not need that much primer of that Becca one. But let me tell you, it makes my skin look really dewy and fresh, which I really, really like. I'm gonna use my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'm excited about this. I'm gonna use the uh, yellow color, of course, that banana shade. I'm gonna mix it with that white color. Okay, the powder is really nice. It reminds me of the Lorac one because it's really like smooth underneath the eyes. And um, yes, 
I like it a lot. Very brightening. This one's definitely a lot more brightening than the Lorac one. I think the Lorac um, contour palette is definitely, like the under eye powders are more natural. Like they're not going to give you that intense highlight. To set the rest of my makeup, I'm going to use the RCMA No Color Powder. I've really been actually liking this powder a lot. It's really, really nice. It's just really messy. I don't really like the packaging of it, to be quite honest with you, but it's all good. Because the product itself is amazing. So this uh, Kat Von D palette reminds you of the Lorac one, but these um, banana colors, I feel like, are more like buttery and bright than the Lorac ones. But I still love the Lorac one, but I don't know. I think this one might take the place. I'm going to use this e.l.f. blending brush. By the way, did you guys know e.l.f. is at Walmart now? It's at my Walmart, so check because they have this brush there. That is a really, really nice color. Oh, gosh, that scared me. My mom's calling me. Bien? Sí. Okay. Uh, ¿Dónde estás? Estoy manejando ahora mismo. Voy para la Walmart. Okay. No, I went there yesterday. Okay. You guys, that contour palette is absolutely amazing. The colors are so buttery, and they're like the perfect amount of warm and cool tone. Oh, I'm obsessed. Like, I, I love the way my contour looks, and that brush that I was using from e.l.f. is just so good for contouring. Like, I love it. I absolutely love it. I think I might like it more than the Lorac one, just because I feel like the colors um, are just a lot more... I don't know like they have a good amount of warm tones in it i think the lorac palette i mean don't get me wrong i love it but i think it's a very ashy palette that if you use too much it your face can look like kind of like ashy muddy looking you know what i mean so anyways i'm gonna use the nars uh narcissist palette i think that's what it's called this blush palette i showed in my haul as well and i want to try out some of these blushes because i've never tried nars blushes i'm gonna use this one and this one right here let's see how they look Mmm, so pretty. So pretty. And brushes like this make it so like easy to apply your like uh, blush because it kind of like blends it into your skin really nicely and just diffuses the product beautifully. Alright, so I decided to change because I was just not feeling that shirt. I felt like my arms looked huge. So I'm wearing this shirt that I got from Ross a few years ago. And then on my lips, I'm wearing ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color Trap. And I love this color. It's like a gray taupe. It's kind of different than what I normally wear, but I like it. I'm liking the cool tones today. Actually, now that I finished up my makeup, I kind of like, like the makeup a little bit better than earlier. I was telling you guys I didn't really like the look. I kind of do like it now. So I'm about to start filming my current favorites and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it turns out good. So, so far the Milani foundation, I definitely applied way too much because it does look a little bit cakey on my face. I had to use like a setting spray to kind of absorb everything in better. And I forgot to use the Bosha setting spray. I wanted to use it today. I'll use it tomorrow and let you guys know um, how it is. But um, yeah, I just feel like I used way too much primer, way too much foundation and I feel like it's just kind of caking up a little bit actually a lot like right in here and like around my nose area it's just a little cakey but nothing crazy though I really like the foundation so far I think it applied really nice as for the concealer the Tarte concealer I really don't like it I think I picked a pretty good shade um, and I think um, setting it with the Kat Von D palette helped a lot, but I just don't really think that it's going to be my favorite I'm probably going to end up returning it I'm going to keep using it a few more times and then We'll see. Okay, the lighting is horrible. I changed again. I'm just wearing like this really pretty flowy shirt from TJ Maxx with some black leggings. And I'm still wearing ColourPop Trap liquid lipstick. I'm like iffy about liquid lipsticks from ColourPop. Like I love the colors, but the formula is just so dry. But I'm willing to deal with the dryness because the colors are stunning. You know what I mean? And the price, you can't really beat it. So like they're good. They're not my favorite formula. But they're good and they're only six bucks so it's like you know anyways um Hector and I are gonna go to Red Lobster tonight because like I said it's his birthday weekend and I'm super excited because I love Red Lobster it's one of my favorite restaurants I think actually I think it is my favorite restaurant both of ours we love it so we're gonna go there and then we're just gonna probably chill you know the huge and yeah this hair I don't I don't know what's going on with this hair it's never done I hate doing my hair <laughs>
day and we spent our morning watching House Hunters. And now we're in Redding and we're at, mm. I'm gonna show you, it's this restaurant with amazing mm. Spanish food. Got me a parking spot. <laughs> I couldn't even get it. <laughs> you went too fast. This is a restaurant that we're at. They have the best Spanish food in Reading. So we are going to the Pagoda in Reading. Woo! Never been here before. Make a U turn and proceed to Clemmer Street. Uh, turn left onto Hill Road. I got it. You can Take turn a sharp right turn onto Durhi Drive. Okay. You know where it is? Yeah. Oh. Okay, so I got arroz with habichuelas and pernil. And then some platanos. And he got a pastelillo. And he just got rice. Arroz con gandules. Arroz con gandules. <laughs> So I came back home to shower and I'm about to just do a really quick makeup look and my room is a mess. I cannot stand it. Okay, so I'm trying out the Milani foundation again today. I have it on right now. I used only a pump and a half. Yesterday I used about two and a half pumps. I used way too much foundation. I found that it was just really cakey on me yesterday. My makeup felt cakey and my face felt very heavy. So I decided to go a little bit light-handed today. And I, of course, used my beauty blender as always. I also did use this Makeup Forever, the Step 1 primer. Um, I'm not seeing anything crazy dramatic like with my skin with this primer. I mean, like, it makes my skin feel soft, but, like, I don't know. I don't see anything crazy with it. Um, and then I also did use this Bosha, the White Charcoal Makeup Setting Spray. I'm not a huge fan of the way this stuff smells. It has a really kind of strong, weird, like, uh, bitter sort of smell. So I used it kind of, like, to prep my face, and then I guess I'm going to use it to set my makeup. But I think with this foundation, the Milani one, I do like it. It looks beautiful, like, when you first apply it, but you really just need like a little bit if you apply multiple layers it can get very heavy on the skin so yeah I'm gonna just do a very simple makeup look today so yeah Hector and I I don't know what we're gonna do we're really actually just gonna chill but I just wanted to do my makeup because I didn't do it all week and I just want to do something really simple today and oh for concealer I'm gonna try out that uh, Tarte Maracuja concealer again and see how it feels today because yesterday I did not like it at all. It was just, it's so thick that I don't know how I feel about it. Let me see. Do you see that? Makeup is complete. I did like just a really quick 10 minute makeup glam. I'm wearing ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick in Beeper right now on my lips. And then the um, concealer that I was telling you guys, the Maracuja Concealer by Tarte is horrible absolutely horrible I'm wearing it today and I think it just ruined my whole makeup look because honestly you guys it's so thick it feels like I have a lot of makeup on and I'm only just using concealer and foundation like it's just horrible I set it with the Kat Von D shade and light palette which I really love this palette I think the colors are just absolutely beautiful and they're so buttery underneath the eyes but they just did not help this concealer at all it's so creasy I'm gonna probably most likely end up returning it because I just don't like the way it feels on my face if the foundation I do like a lot the Milani foundation but again you really just need a little bit of this um, because if not it's gonna be a very hot cakey mess so I do like it I'm probably gonna have to just get a lighter shade because this is way too dark for me right now um, I'm so pale that's probably why but yeah I think that's it I'm just wearing a little bit of mascara and then you know brows my eyebrow tutorial is also coming um, to you guys very soon I tried to film it last week and I didn't like the way it turned out so yeah Watching a usual Lifetime movie, like, always. It's what we do best. 